Let's take an old computer hard drive. With the screwdriver we can remove all the little screws and open the top part of it. Inside we find these uh, strong magnets, the little arm and the disc. Use a saw to sew away the aluminium base of the hard drive. Remove all the components to make the thing much easier. This is the result, a very precise cut. Let's put apart this component and instead take a big audio speaker and a blade. With the blade we can cut all around the speaker on the paper part. Be very careful because later we will use this paper cone of the speaker. On the back side of it we can find this copper wire and we can take apart Let's twist away about 15 or 20 centimeters of it. It's very thin and fragile, so be careful. Let's take the arm from the hard drive. You can see on the right there are some silver cables and they end on these two connections, here and here. Take again the copper cable from the speaker and with some sandpaper remove the coating from it. Now we are ready to solder the copper cable to the connection of the arm hard drive here on the right and here on the left using some soldering iron. Let's take now a piece of metal, this was from a PC printer I think. With a little screw I can secure it on the front side of the hard drive arm. It's not uh, very precise so maybe adding some super glue make the things much more uh, stable. On the, the top we can put something round, in this case a piece of rubber, like this. Later you will understand what what is about. You can see this is the result. Let's take a, again the hard drive base and assemble everything again together. So the magnet, the little arm and the top part, so the other big magnet. This is the result. I built a little base from some scrap wood and so that I can fix in place the aluminium base. I take some very little springs and I secure them on the aluminium of the hard drive. You can understand that like this the arm stays always in the middle but can shake a little bit like this. This is just what we want. We take an audio jack and we can solder it to the uh, copper wire that were from the speaker like this. Unfortunately, this broke during the process and I have to change it with the, with the blue one, but doesn't change at all the process. We glue the paper cone of the speaker on the round plastic on the top and we are ready to try our microphone. Okay, the microphone is ready. We only need a base to put it on so that it's just in front of my mouth and I need to plug in the jack inside the audio recorder. In this case, my old iMac works perfectly inside the microphone input, like this. We open a software to record the audio. In this case, Audacity is free. So if you want to try it, you find a link below. Let's hit the record button. As you can see here, uh, there are red lines. This is the power that comes just from the microphone. Well, maybe now you are thinking that this is all fake, that I'm lying to you, I'm using the internal microphone of the computer, or maybe I hide in all, all over the room some microphone. To prove you that this is all true, I will shut my mouth and touch the microphone. You will see the red lines. And this is all true, I'm not lying to you. Let's switch the audio quality. This first test of the hard drive microphone, I think that the audio is a bit low because usually these red lines grows until here on the end. Now, and I need to amplify them. So, or I build myself a small amplifier, or I will use the software. Audacity gives you the possibility to amplify the signal. So, I'm quite happy with this microphone. Consider that this is just a prototype. It's the first um, try of building a microphone from an hard drive. Later I will try to improve the microphone. I hope you enjoyed the video, let me know below with a like. I leave you with my two last project, how to build a spinning truck table for my little brother's car and also how to build a smoke grenade cooking Coca-Cola. See you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial. Bye-bye. <laughs>